Friday night of a four day weekend and we've pulled in, the weather's miserable but excited to see some epic builds. Saturday mornings come round and the weather's still terrible so please excuse the lack of audio because the wind was just absolutely shocking as you can see from the footage. Something nice to see at this one is uh, a different range of tents other than the usual brands. Uh, if you get two minutes, check out Roof Tent Utopia. They've always got something different on display to look at. show would it without outhouse turning up with some nice heavyweight classic camping gear uh, you know my thoughts on the swags and the uh, the cooking gear You have to be a walking stereotype. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I woke up this morning and chose pink. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my cider. I've got, I've, I have got my cider. <laughs> I am a cider drinker. <laughs> oh, he drinks it all the time. <laughs> checking out the big professional builds it's great that they actually open the doors and you can have a little look inside you get to see how the time tested global expedition vehicles how they're put together and it gives you a bit of an idea of the products layouts things like that and you know you can go home you can research it a little bit more and pick your products for your own builds uh, which is so helpful when you're trying to put these things together <laughs> you film each other more than you film.
this bit is it's been a couple of years since the MOD disposed of loads of these DAFs and it's got to the point now where they're starting to turn up because people have had their own uh, builds done, they've built them themselves and there's some cracking quality ones. So hope you're enjoying this as we walk around. It's so windy outside. There's going to be a lot of music, a lot of kind of just showing you around and stuff because you're just going to get wind noise everywhere. So I hope you don't mind. It's a little bit less of a vlog and more of a like overview of the show. But yeah, but look who we found. We found Tim. Hey, hi gents. So he's, he's, this is his little dungeon. He's got his bag for life in the corner. So we're good to go. <laughs> 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 There's me shit here. It's a new, it's a new extension. I put a toilet box on the outside. Ah, I'm liking the lights. Yeah, Bluetooth controllable. Um, the Bluetooth device has been connected. Yeah, uh, Govi, G O V W -E. They're pretty cool. Um, you can wire them straight into 12 volt. And all, and then I've um, since the last time you saw the trailer, I've actually upgraded to uh, two 130 amp hour batteries because I've fitted to 240 volt because I want to do what Rich does and get a coffee machine but I can't afford a power bank so <laughs> I'm doing the long way so if you want to see a bit more of this there is a dedicated video to this trailer uh, and the vehicle setup have a look at that it's a little bit earlier on with a few less bits but it is a good run through so check that out also as well as that check out Tim Scott on uh, TikTok So as always, the car park is always, always the place for the little hidden gems of ideas and what people are putting together. hands down to push up. Yeah. It always bends the bars out. You're leaking. So I think a lot of people got burnt out on the uh, Thursday, Friday nights, but Saturday was still an awesome atmosphere. Uh, the fires got lit, everybody chilled out, had a few drinks and went on into the early hours. <laughs> Right, so we've uh, just got a bit of a break in the weather. It's been shocking with the uh, rain and whatnot, but as you can see, it's dinner time and it's pretty much deserted down this end. We're not allowed to fully pack up because we're on the trade bit and Andy's making noise. Uh, but, <laughs> but yeah, what we're gonna do, <clears throat> with the gap in the weather, we're getting all the tentage down, getting it all packed up. It's all been aired out and everything. So yeah, we'll, um, we'll carry on here with the knives and bit, he's sold out of all his sheepskins, half the knives have gone, sold a good few cups, but unfortunately we're not in the best location. 
but it is what it is. So with it being after dinner time on the Sunday and it's been a four day weekend, I think a lot of people have wanted to get off, especially after all the rain. So yeah, it's cleared out a lot, but it gives us a chance to have a look around a couple of the vans, a couple of the stalls that you couldn't get a look at earlier on. And then as well as that, there's a massive convoy of the self-built trucks, which was some sort of record attempt, which uh, should last until the next German show's on and they'll uh, show how it's done. So there we go, that's another Overland show. Uh, I think the next on the list is the Billing Off-Road show. That is a cracking show if you haven't uh, been to it before. Uh, be going around the off-road course uh, and we'll be taking the camper van to that and hopefully get some uh, footage going through the lake and everything. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this, if you can leave a comment and uh, like, share, the usual jazz. So I'll say bye for now. Say bye, Andy. Bye, Andy. <laughs>